All right, welcome back to Geek Out. Hey, uh, what's good? It's Geeked Out. It's, uh, it's, it's been a while. Yeah, um, man. The world's on fucking fire. How about yours? That's why I like <laughs> it, because I never get bored. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we've been through... Like, the world has been through a lot of crazy shit the past few days. Or weeks, I guess. And, uh... You know, it's been hard to find time to do this with everyone being busy and um, emotional. Uh, so we're just gonna, this is going to be a quick update. I don't even know if you want to count this as an official chapter. We'll, we'll talk about some things, but it's yeah, not going to be like an official He's episode. not here. So, yeah, um, yeah he's also kind of like, we're all just a little bit stuck on different things. So we just wanted to give you something for like, you know, our supporters just to know that we're here and that we're still going to be consistent with it. But at the same time, you know what I mean? It's like, it's just a hard period for everybody. So it's like, you're not going to get the content as much, but we're still here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we want to try to get at least one episode out a month at the least. Hopefully it works out. Um, we have kind of busy schedules. I'm almost done with college. Josh has work. Yeah, exactly. Zeke is a rock star. Yeah, Zeke is so. a rock star in training. <laughs> so it's, so uh, it's, it's a lot, man. It really is. But we, like, we, like, we're not quitters. We're going to keep this going. Like I said, like, the first episode was dope. And thank you for all the feedback and everything that you guys gave us Honestly, for the first yeah. episode, man. We got, we got, we got 100 views in two days. And that, that was, I was amazed by it. Yeah, how much we just, support. we just started up. Like, we literally just started this from scratch. Like, I didn't expect it to, like, go that well and to get, like, you know, even Kristen put, like, because that was her comment. She said, like, this is what the world needs right now. And I agree. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. it, that, like, it's going to make you calm down and make you laugh. And, talk about shit that you're interested in because there's so much heavy stuff going on so with that further ado let's go into like the topics that we you know uh real quick before we start the topics i just want to you know get the serious stuff out of the way before uh we end uh with everything happening in the world right now with black lives matter and the allegations of like rape stuff coming out recently the situation just we just like we're, we're small voices so like it doesn't really matter but every voice counts I agree. Like, you know, just be good people, if anything. Just don't be, just respect others. Understand where people are coming from. Don't just blindly hate without trying to understand. Because, you know, these stuff, it's, they're touchy subjects and a lot of people want to stay away from them and not talk about them. But they're problems that's been going on for a while. They just, they just didn't come out of nowhere, you know? Yeah, this so, is years and years and years of generational yeah. hatred. Generational hatred towards minorities, general hatred towards women. You know, like it's, it's it's ridiculous all the stuff that's going on right now, and it really does make me very sad. But I, um, but just to keep it on like a brighter note, you know what I'm saying? It's like it is beautiful that people now, I think, with like the age of the internet, like people could connect with each other and do different things to like spread their voice. You know what I'm saying? Like people just like all over the place that have never met each other are coming together to do like protests and stuff like that for Black Lives Matter. And that's a beautiful thing, you know? People are making art that's like- I feel like- Oh, go ahead, go ahead, my bad. Yeah, people are making like amazing pieces of artwork and stuff. Like I saw this one picture of artwork that was like a, a baby and like he was like getting takeaway from his family and it had a picture of Trump on it. And it was just like, um, make America great again. I was like blown away. And like, these are what people are doing. Like everyone's at home. And it's like, it's crazy that this happened during the quarantine because I feel like now everyone can't look away. Like before you could get like, like you know, pumped up with work or, or like, you know, your job or, 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 or um, like school or whatever you're doing. But now I feel like you have to notice the crazy stuff that's going on and it's going on too much. It's not just like one isolated incident. It's like every week there's somebody dying, whether it's from somebody on a tree that's hanging and they say it's a suicide, or there's somebody that's crazy. Gets shot, or there's somebody gets stabbed, like it's always something that's gonna happen. Or someone um or wish before somebody can't breathe because they're there's something with knees on their neck. Like it's always something. And now I think people are paying attention. And when you pay attention and you actually see what's going on in the world, it's going to like elicit responses. People are gonna get mad, you know what I'm saying? People are gonna get angry. And I think now it's just the time that I think people are using their anger and hopefully we can all use that in a good way so we can make changes, you know what I mean? So I do think that emotion- I wanna- Oh yeah, go ahead. I wanna leave it at this. Yeah, yeah, no, um, before, I just want to leave it at this because you obviously have more of a connection to Black Lives Matter than I do. I yeah. Can't. Like, you know, I'm, 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 I'm American Muslim. I'm, I grew up with a lot of hate because of 9-11, but and that's it's the not thing. the same thing. 
But it's, it's, the, but it's, it's like, like it's not the thing. same thing. But you it's still, not, but. It's, it's it's not the same thing. But it's not right either. Like discrimination no. is discrimination. Period. You know what I mean? And you face yeah. a lot of shit that yeah. you didn't have to face. You know what I mean? And people look at you and they think about they look at you and they see something that like what's from called that you aren't. They don't see you as the person that you are. Like yeah. I know yeah. you person. The people will come through with all their stereotypes and with their hatred. And like like I said, this is like the first step. But really, I I want a war against racism. I want everybody. Mm -hmm. that is a minority or everyone that is different that people could understand that yo like it doesn't matter it just matters what their heart is you know what i'm saying so it's like yeah black lives matter right now this is this is the topic that everyone's on that's the trending but it's like you know brown lives matter too yo like spanish lives matter like asian lives everybody's life matters you know what, mm -hmm. what i'm saying but yeah don't yeah, say all exactly. like yeah don't, exactly yeah, okay, don't say all lives matter you know what i'm saying yeah. because you're trying to limit the situation at hand yeah, the, the all lives matter situation is, is it's a weird concept to me. If you're gonna say all lives matter, why aren't you saying black lives matter essentially? Uh, but like, if anything, the what this quarantine has done is I think it's made people in America more so than ever just not care or like give give a shit about like excuses anymore. Like we yeah, want exactly. change because of situations like this of how like whether your opinions are, uh, of Trump are good or bad, he hasn't, it's a fact that he hasn't been doing a good job uh, with exactly. the whole quarantine and the, the riots and everything. So, but you know, that, 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 that's the situation. Just just be good people, guys. Yeah, oh. just, just try to have empathy. Yeah, I want to that fast. Yeah, we, like, I'm not going to keep going. I just want to say, like, just have empathy. Like, if you see somebody and they might look different than you and you might not understand their pain, just be like, hey, like, let, let me listen to you. Let, let, let you speak. Don't always have to be the one that has to speak and say something. It's like sometimes you got to just, like, listen and um and try to be a better person. And that's it. So let's move on to the next topic. All right. Uh, real quick. So this is going to be a quick update podcast. We didn't really, like, write down any big ones. Details or anything, but you know, let's let's lay things up a little. Right now, we're going to be talking about like what games. Since we started this podcast as a games podcast, we're going to re just real quick just talk about what games we've been playing right now. Uh, Josh, you want to go first? You want me to go? First? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll start it off, yo. I've been playing yeah. The Last of Us One. That shit is dope as hell, man. Like it's I so can't good. I can't believe I wasted all this time like having a P because I had a PS3 and after that I had a PS4 and all this time I never played The Last of Us and I love Naughty Dog. Like Naughty Dog had like um they have Uncharted they have like um Jack and Baxter they made Crash and like that's like their like big game and I never played it I don't know why I didn't but I sat there and I played a, a couple chapters of it and man I love it I love the fact that they tell a story through the I uh, game. uh I I have, I played it first in when I got my PS4 uh the remastered version came out on PS4 that was the first time I played it and I fell in love it, I'm not that good at shooters and I'm not yeah, that me good neither. at shooters, shooters actually. but I fell in love with The Last of Us the game it's one of the only shooters where I played the multiplayer a lot even though a lot of people didn't play the multiplayer because I was enjoying it so much uh, you know what it's it a is great game, man. It's a great game. you know what it is that I feel like it's different than a, a shooter it's not about shooting it's more about surviving yeah. you know what I'm saying it's about it's a, it's, using the most of the resources you have like that's what I like for about me it. it's a good mix of like Uncharted and Resident Evil it's yeah, a, it's a mix of both both games. It's a one. And yeah, I, I definitely see another that. series that you have to play. So. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually to this day, I, I have them all. I have like a, a, at least the first three. I have them on my um my PlayStation. So I'm still having to play that. But right now, I'm just in. Uh, Last and Last so, of Us Two, like a quick yeah. shout out. Like I don't want to like spoil anybody because like you know a lot of people are still playing it, but just the the feedback on that game man you would think it was like a whole different like that would be that was a, a national tragedy in itself bro like that's just crazy so, um i just got last of us two in the mail yesterday i haven't oh, played no, it yet no. my brother took it and he's been playing in his room uh I, i'll play it soon i'm gonna check it out i love the first one I, I i don't know the spoiler or what happens i just know it's been a lot of i know games. everything so, i know everything so. <laughs> Uh, so, I did not uh, even. I haven't played the first game, but I know everything that happens in the last. I game. love not. I, I I love Naughty Dog, but if they mess up this game, man, I'll be so depressed. I'm gonna be like, so I really like this. This I is definitely gonna game, happen. It's, it's gonna happen that we're gonna do a review, or not, it might not even be a review. I don't even know if I'm gonna play it. I just want to talk about what happens because the reactions are crazy, and it's just like once Maru plays it, we can do like a spoiler kind of thing where we'll just talk about it. Because I'm telling you, man, they made some bold. It's just bold. I'm not no spoilers, but they went full bold. And I don't know if you want to respect it or if you don't, but man, they they went there. Period. They went there. 
So um yeah yeah um Last of Us is crazy and I've also been like you know I've been really feeling for that Pokemon Snap that Pokemon Snap mm-hmm. yeah Hell, bro that game I've been yeah. waiting for that for years. The, 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 it's crazy that Bandai Namco and uh, Hal Labs actually have been working on this in the, on the download for so long. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, like it looks so good, man. It's a beautiful it game, and I think like it's like when I really think about it, Snap is just that one game that I remember because you know you had Stadium, and Stadium was fun, but Snap was the thing that made you feel like you were in a real Pokemon world. You got to see like what the Pokemon were doing in their natural habitat. I always thought that was like, the coolest thing. And it's like a whole different experience than when you just play the mainline games and you're just walking into like the tall grass and they pop up. It's like you actually get to see what they're doing. So um, yeah. yeah, I think with the like real with like HD graphics and everything, this is gonna be one of the best games on the Switch. Like I'm very excited. Like that's a that's a day zero for me. I'm I'm definitely buying. Uh, is there any is there any Switch games playing right now? Um, actually yes. I I'm, I actually got Overwatch for Switch. Cause like with okay. that big fucking cool. sale, so I've been trying to play it. I'm trash. I'm not like I said. I'm not really good at shooters, but I just wanted to. You know, it was on sale for like eleven dollars. Uh, are you doing? Are you doing better than that? That, that short stint where we all tried to play Fortnite and then got demolished. Oh, every game? I honestly think sadly, I think I'm better at Fortnite than Overwatch. Overwatch, is, <laughs> Overwatch is pretty fucking hard, man. That, that's a hard yeah. game. And I, but it's like you have like 35 characters, so it's like I think I just have to find my character that I feel good. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the people that I'm playing, it's a lot like it's a lot like Smash. You have to find who you're comfortable playing with. Yeah, but it's 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 a good series though. I'm enjoying that. I also bought um Resident Evil Four. Resident Evil Four. Nice, nice. So like this is the first time I'm playing it, and yeah, like I say, it's I can see the age. Like I see that the game is aged. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I could also see like how it innovated. Like it really did push the medium and stuff like that. Like for people who like like survival survival horror, like you could see this is where it really became something completely different. And um, I enjoy it. I enjoy those two games. And I bought. The, oh, and lastly, Xenoblade. Xenoblade. I, yeah, I actually been playing that. And like I'm saying, man, you you <laughs> you are right, man. That's a revenge story. <laughs> it, it got me. I was just like, how, how deep are you into it? How deep are you? Into I'm it still in the like because you know what I'm what, what it is. I have like this pride thing where I don't want to like um what's one I don't want to casual yeah don't want to go to casual mode so I keep getting yeah, my I'll ass be beat because I'm at the point where like you just meet um what's what's the girl's name like not not the you know the girl that you know the other one the other girl Charla? She's, like dark skin Charla. yeah Charla yeah Charla. I mean, when, just when you write yeah. meet Charla that's where I'm at mm-hmm. but it's like it's still really early game oh, so, yeah it's still very early yeah. but um yeah like I'm okay, on this here, one both here's my time. advice to uh, that like to swallow your pride and use casual mode. Even me, who has played Xenoblade for years now, for certain boss fights and side uh, and side fights, I had to force myself to go into casual mode to beat it. Yeah, I think That's I honestly how, think I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I like I really enjoy the story, but I've just it's, been doing it's the same such a good story. Times. And casual mode makes it a lot easier to get aggressive with everything. And here's my advice: take your time in learning the gameplay. Don't go straight through the story. Um, it's good to like like listen to the story. But take your time to do side areas and explore, because the more you explore, the more experience you get. You get experience for exploring this game. Yeah, that's dope. So yeah, that's true. Look for hidden areas. The more hidden areas you find, the more ESP you get, the stronger you'll get in for boss fights. And, and, I, and I've uh, noticed that like there's so much side quests thrown at you. Like every mm-hmm. every character usually gives you some kind of side quest. In this. And so here's the good thing about the definitive version, is that uh, the side quests are tracked and it takes you directly to them. That wasn't there. No, 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 no. Imagine crazy. in 2014, just trying to find these people without the uh, tracker. So like, that's the crazy insane. part. That's crazy, dude. Oh, lastly, yeah. since we, since we, um, how you feel about the whole Sakurai and whole like the new arms character and shit, Min Min being so, in um, Smash? Before I get to that, real quick, uh, Xenoblade is one of the games I've been playing a lot. I am in chapter 17 or 18. I forgot. No, no, there's only 16 chapters. I'm like. I'm towards the end of the end, end of the game, but not. Have you like, played on um, Future Connected yet? The, the no, I, I'm not talking that until I beat the game. I'm oh wow, that. yeah, because yeah. most people like just zoomed into that if they already played the yeah, game. Yeah, I've like, heard. I've heard. Well, I've heard spoilers about the plot that it's not like that important or like great, which kind of like I guess killed my waiting to play it. But I, I, from the start, I always said I'm going to play the original game first. And real quick, I want to uh, thank you because you and Steve bought it for me. Oh, yeah, First no, dude, dude. Like so, I said, this I is my homie for, for life, bro. Like, yeah. anything he wants, he gets, man. And I ain't even rich. Imagine when <laughs> I get this. We're going to have, like, Xenoblade. Uh, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely make it up to you soon. I'll, get, I'll yeah. definitely send you something. Yo, all you got to do is give me some plushies, man. I need some extra plushies. I just got um, um Gretzko. 
Gretzko from um, Gretzko. I was like, I need to see Gretzko. You got me into that screen. You're freaking getting me into all the... Yeah, the fur, yo. We're going to have a fur yard episode. We're going to put Ariana on that shit, yo. No. No. I'm with it, man. Uh, The uh, field We're going to get a new canvas. (laughs) For the (laughs) arms character, I don't mind it because... So, I'm I'm like indifferent toward arms in general. Arms was Uh, okay. I I like... I, I honestly... I you know what's weird about arms? I like the theme song a lot. Like that theme song, like whoa, 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 whoa. That shit's hard. Um, but it was a fun game. Like when the Switch didn't have that many games, I used to play that a lot, and I did like it. But the only thing is that Twin Tail is not my like. I don't fuck with Twin Tail. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm the opposite. I, I, I wanted Twin Tail, and Min Min was like, eh. but Twin yeah. Tail should have been. Uh, the game. I agree. The Twin Tail thing, thing, but uh, you know what Sakurai says? Uh, too mature what? for. For, uh, for Bayonetta, <laughs> Bayonetta, that makes no I sense. I don't know, man. I love, I, I love Sakurai, though. Did you hear how he, uh, he bought like supplies for everyone who was working on Smash for them? Just oh insane. wow, he's, he's a good guy. He's, he's a, he's such a, a good, good guy, and he's amazing. Game, he was playing the thing with like two controllers and fighting himself. I'm right. like, damn, dude, you like amazing gamer. Like, uh, besides that. I also, I honestly, I got The Last of Us, so I haven't started it yet. The Last of Us 2, but I'm going to be getting to that. Uh, that's my PS4 game right now, and uh, I recently, um, I've been, I bought the, me and my brother went double on the uh, Pokemon DLC for Sword and Shield. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah it's, it's, it's okay. I think it's a step forward, because I feel like that game is what people were expecting. Like, that DLC is what people were expecting with the Switch version. True. Uh, it still has some faults, but it does solve a lot of the dex problems because there's a lot, a lot of new Pokemon added into this uh, DLC. But here's the thing about it, though. It's kind of telling when uh, I'm still playing Mystery Dungeon more than I'm touching that DLC. Yeah. Like, and I've I beat Mystery know. Dungeon already. I already beat <laughs> Mystery Dungeon's main story. I'm just playing it, so. Yeah, so, man, we, we definitely, yeah. we have to have, we're going to have a Pokemon episode and really just talk yeah. about our history. It's, it's a lot to talk about. Because that's, that's, mm, man, I got I have a lot to say about Pokemon. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, lie to you. All right, and uh, now we're going to move on to our next topic, which is whatever TV, cartoon, or any kind of shows online we're watching right now. Uh, oh, I'll, go, I'll start first for this one. Cause oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not watching a lot of TV shows right now. Um, I was watching all the all the DC TV shows when they were on CW because I'm a fucking comic nerd, so I'm keeping up with that shit. I feel you. Uh, I have watched the Harley Quinn show a little. A few episodes of that here and there. What, like what's, what channel is that on, by the way? It's on. It's on. Uh, it's on the DC Street. Oh wow! Yeah, see, everything's yeah. on streaming now. <laughs> everything's on streaming, man. Now it's on streaming now. So, um, I've been reading. A, I've been reading a webtoon called Tower of God because um, I recently finished the anime for that. That's and, dope. Uh, it's a Korean webtoon where um, it's kind of like uh, a mix of Hunter Hunter and Hunger Games, kind of in a way. But wow, it, it's, that's, it, a, it, it, that's it, a bold it, mix. Yeah, it, it's not exactly like that, but that's the best way I could describe it. But I'm, I'm like in uh, part two of it, and I'm really loving it. It's, it's a really great. I need to read more Korean webtoons because those, those, they're really underrated. And I'm, I'm glad they're getting animated now because uh, they're Korean, so they weren't getting, getting animated for them. But now Crunchyroll is um, doing anime. For them. Uh, yeah, like you gotta you gotta expand because at one point like anime has become such a like a cultural mi- milestone for so many people. I think you gotta start looking at other other ways to adapt things. And everything. Mm-hmm. For me, you know, I've been watching a lot of studio um Ghibli. Like I watched um, yeah. um what's it called Kiki's Livery Service. That was a really good movie. I really enjoyed that. Like the whole it was such a simple story, but it was told amazingly. Um, and I watched My Neighbor Totoro, and that was a good, that was a good movie too. Like it was just different though. Um, I, 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 I was watching like pieces of um, Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is good. Like it's like 300 episodes. That's what Ari told me. So and she wanted me to watch the other one, Sailor Moon. Um, what do you remember what it's called? It's like the other Sailor Moon something. Oh, uh, the, the other Sailor Moon is actually. She wants you to watch that one. That one's actually yeah, because she was movie. like, "There's no filler in there." Yeah. Yeah, but I was just um, like, "Fuck that!" Like, I want to like really go back and watch like the original yeah. because like that's. It's very similar. It's very similar to uh, Fullmetal Alchemist, Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, where the original was filler, and the story went on a different direction. But the Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, which came out years later, was the actual original story manga that they animated finally. So that's, yeah, that's actually, that's right actually a pretty cool way of doing things. So yeah. some people I I know when if they watch if they read the manga and then they seen that like the original, they probably like, "What the hell is this?" You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's cool yeah. that they got something too. 
but I don't know. It's like my nostalgia wants me to watch like the original original. So I've been watching it, but like I said, I've been kind of everywhere. So it's like I've been taking my time with that. And are yeah, you that's uh, about it? Uh, are you excited for Mandalorian season two? Oh hell yes, yes! Like we need that. We need that. Have now. you seen the trailer? Have Wait, there's a trailer? trailer? No, nah, you lying? Uh, to me. There's a trailer? There's some trailer, some info, like videos. Okay, you sending to you sending me that as soon as it should end because I did not know that. What? Yeah. Oh. What? Yeah, no, that's crazy. that's crazy. That's crazy. I'm not gonna spoil anything on it, but it's it, it, it looks insane. Um. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm in a different dimension right now. Now my whole mood <laughs> just elevated like three times up. Holy shit. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, just a, the last thing topic we're gonna cover is uh, what we're working on, which um I want to talk about like uh, uh Zeke two in this situation. Oh yeah. 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 We'll stand in for him. Uh, real quick, uh, so now we're going to be talking about what we're working on uh, currently in besides the podcast. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty strapped in my last class of school right now. I'll be graduating in the summer uh, after I'm done. So essentially next month. Uh, but other than that, I am still working on my story Phoenix. You can find yeah, it on the so. tab. Um, I'm almost done with the first act. Oh, tell, tell them about your views. Tell them about your views. You got to stun them uh, up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got 700 plus views right now on it. Hey, it's going great! I think it's the most successful story I've written so far. Uh, uh, you can find it on the Wattpad, uh, on my Wattpad on uh, Mad Samurai. It's called Phoenix. It uh, three wanderers. Uh, currently 17 chapters. It's gonna be 20 the first arc. So um, yeah, no, check it out. If you like samurai stories, if you like uh world, I guess uh fantasy worlds. If you like um steampunk and like just adventure stories that's it's for you it has a little of everything it's it's very much anime and manga inspired but it's also inspired by stuff like uh like um coming of age movies and uh like a bunch of super movies too if you think about it but uh no no yeah give it a give it a give it a good look if you're interested in that kind of thing and uh john you got a lot to talk about in this part oh uh, yeah ahead. man um I'm hit, him hit him with that hit him with that Yo, Juneteenth just dropped, like, I wrote a whole song about basically everything that happened with Black Lives Matter and just the state of our world right now. So um, I dropped a, a release, like a, what's we call an unmastered version. So if you go on SoundCloud, we'll put a link on it. But hopefully by the time we put this shit up, like, we'll have a mastered version of it. And yeah, I have a whole album coming up. It's going to be called After Quarantine, We Gon' Fuck. Um, and yeah, it's gonna have a dope. It's, it's gonna have a bunch of dope ass tracks. I can't wait to release new music. I'm really excited about that. And yeah, like I've just I've been trying to just you know write a lot because I feel like this is a time and place where you have to if you want to stay like sane, draw all the craziness. Like you have to have something to do. And I think writing. Right. Is yeah. Cool. So yeah. Uh, yeah. No, your music. Uh. Uh, Zeke has his band all the time. They're, they're working on some stuff. They've been uh, meeting up again, talking about future plans. So look out oh, for the all the time stuff. Of course, I links for everything will be down there. We'll have uh, everything up and stuff. But yeah, no, that's it. What we got for updates. So anything else you want to talk about? Before we end? Uh, yeah, all I want to say is everybody just stay safe. You know what I mean? Because COVID's mm-hmm. still out here. So like, wear a mask, wear your gloves, and just try and like, you know, like have empathy for other people like don't just do things you don't care about uh, and, and don't think about other people like do do things for other people and shit like that but other than that man like we're super happy that you guys are still tuning in and we're going to come back with episode 2 and it's going to be fucking fantastic and we're going to mm-hmm. do even better for you guys so thanks we love you yeah no just uh, just be good people guys you know just look out for each other it's, we don't need this, this kind of hate in the world hopefully there's some change soon like chill the and, fuck out uh, and play some video games man Right, yeah. Do something. Uh, also, also put real quick, I wanna. <laughs> <laughs> real quick, I wanna. Uh, I wanna mention real quick. I know you're not that knowledgeable about this thing happening right now, but in the wrestling world, there's a big thing happening right now called Speak Out, which oh. is uh, the Speak Out movement is uh, it's showing off a lot of female wrestlers coming out with rape allegations against several male wrestlers and of the vice versa, but not as much. Damn. Uh, there's a lot of people in the UK being accused right now. Uh, guys, just uh, it's been hard for for people, who fellow wrestling fans out there. It's a, it's 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 nerve wracking and disappointing. But always remember that uh, you know don't 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 be those kind of prima donnas or assholes. I guess that say oh you know they're just doing it for clout chasing or they're just doing it for this. You know always believe the victims first because. I'd rather defend a liar than a rapist. 
Yeah, we definitely we definitely have to have a whole conversation about that too. But just my last statement on that though is just like yeah, like we I think we were we're in a like a situation where we worship celebrities and we put them on such a high pedestal and we have them yeah. as role models and it's like they're they're people and sometimes they're people that are really fucked up on the low and they're not like the public persona. So at the end of the day, if they do something wrong, it's up to us. It's our obligation to say that's wrong and not give mm-hmm. them their support and shit like that. Exactly. So, yeah. So so no matter if he's your favorite or not, if he did something wrong. He deserves to be punished for it and that's it definitely definitely uh i want to end it on some good notes so real quick you guys um if you want to if you want to keep up with us uh my twitter is nerfday1996 matt samurai follow me for um uh, anime superhero wrestling you know video games stuff whatever not i just kind of just reach out shit and talk about it a bit and uh, follow josh on his platform so. yeah yeah you can follow me on um nurse gandhi which is my Instagram that'll be on the link below. And also you can follow me on um, what you call Remy Represent on SoundCloud. That's where I'm gonna be dropping my music. And also, oh, last thing. Oh shit. Last, last, last thing. But this <laughs> is very important though. I totally forgot. Death Prone um is five years old since May. May is like we dropped the song in um what's it called 2015. So in May it turned um what's it called? It turned five years old. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so excited. I don't even know how to speak right now. <laughs> so what happened is that we decided to put it on streaming services. So it's gonna be on Apple Music, it's gonna be on Spotify, God, God. every every single streaming service you want. But not just that, but we're also gonna make a new version of Death Prone. We already made it, we're just gonna release it very soon. And it's gonna have like like violin, it's gonna have like vocals, it's gonna be a whole orchestrated version of Death Prone. It's gonna be crazy. So yeah, definitely look out for that that's something that i'm very very proud of and um yeah on that note just go to my soundcloud and my my instagram and we'll we'll see you guys soon uh yeah guys thanks for watching uh keep an eye out for that hopefully next time we'll have a full crew with zeke on and uh soon you might be having some guests um, yeah, yeah, you probably yeah. you probably won't know them but they're, they're good friends to us and uh hopefully it livens up the podcast and everything next time uh we'll see what happens because i want to try to be consistent and Hopefully, we'll get episode two out by next month. Yeah, right? exactly, man. We're here for you guys. And if you have any problems during this crazy time, just send us a comment, send us a DM. We will respond to you because, like, as we said, we're all a family here, all right? So much love to all you guys, and we'll talk to you next time. Yep, you cut it there. Uh, fuck. <laughs> 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 Tell me that this ride is causing heat I would say there's people outside in a war for peace I can feel love and retribution Fuck the public execution Cause the people who protect us sleep is dead They in the streets Then that man had two daughters And they wouldn't let him breathe He had blood in his veins like you and me So with the empathy for your fellow human being Put my effort in the future Trying to bring, bring him his ass sheets And tell me all lives matter But his life didn't matter to police Had their hands in their pockets Is a reason he deceased Pray for mercy, cry for mama Suffocated as he screamed Mother him in broad daylight For the whole world to see All costs are passed I mean the institution leaves Justice by the dust system But just let the shit with Tell me why they fucking train it only lasts a couple weeks. Takes longer to-